everyone, this is Lady on the Violin, and today I will go over the seven drills I have implemented into all of my violin practices. These drills are for bowing. And why bowing? Because I noticed in my last two recordings that I had a lot of shaky bow, I had a lot of squeaky bow, sometimes I would hit two strings at a time when it wasn't supposed to happen that way. And um, I also noticed that I, my bow hold was a little tense. So I want to go ahead and improve on these uh, issues. And out of all the YouTube videos that I've looked through, I wound it down to seven drills that I think will help me accomplish a better bow stroke, better tone for my violin. And hopefully these uh, drills will help you if you need um, improvement in your bowing technique. So here they are. For drills number one through five, uh, you will not be needing your violin. All you need is your bow. So go ahead and grab your bow and we will do drill number one, which is finger taps. Now with finger taps, go ahead and uh, hold your bow with your left hand, just hold it from the tip and make sure you don't touch the bow hair. And um, with your right hand, go ahead and uh, place it into a proper bow hold position. And all you do is tap your fingers. Tap your index finger, pet the frog with your two middle fingers, and tap your pinky finger. Yes, yeah, so. And I do this about three times per finger. And you can repeat as many times as you want. So I think the purpose of this drill is to remind you or so that you can be mindful of your bow hold, of your correct bow hold, and also to remind you to keep your fingers nice and relaxed. Okay, so this takes us to drill number two, windshield wiper. With windshield wiper, you let go of your bow with your uh, left hand and sustain your bow with your right in the correct bow hold position and uh, just swivel from your wrist from your left side to the right. So, and basically you're creating a windshield wiper with your bow. When your bow is on the uh, right side, you'll feel the weight on your index finger, so you use your index finger to bring it back to the left side, and when you're on your left side, you feel the weight with your pinky, and you bring it back to the right side. You can do this as many times as you want. I do it about five times, so that was windshield wiper. Drill number three is pinky push-ups. It's almost the same thing as a windshield wiper, only this time you just use your pinky and this is to create uh, more strength in your pinky finger. So with one hand, sustain your bow and with your pinky push down on at the tip of the bow and just lift the, the other side of the bow. And then you let go, push, and then let go. But don't just let go, um, work your way down. So do that, I do it about five times as well. And you can repeat as many times as you want. So that's pinky push-ups. Drill number four is called spider. And this one's a little challenging um, the first few times, but once you get used to it, it's pretty fun to do. So go ahead and hold your bow upright and with your fingers, go, go ahead and climb up the bow. So let me see if you can see, maybe this way, it's easier to see. Go ahead and climb up the bow and get to the tip of the bow. Once you get to the tip, go ahead and work your way back down to the frog. So this, working your way back down, it's a little more challenging than going up because you're working against gravity, of course, and you need to use all your fingers to make sure you don't drop your bow 
don't drop your bow. If you feel like your bow is about to fall, grab it with your um, right uh, left hand. But do your best to just work your way down. Take it slow at first. And once you get used to it, I'm pretty sure it'll be easier to do. You'll be able to do it in no time. So once when you get back down to the frog, put your fingers back into proper bow hold position. And there you go. That was spider. You can repeat this. Uh, I repeat this about three times. You can do as many as many times as you want as well. So this brings us to uh, drill number five, which is genie. And for genie, I like using a cloth or a um, handkerchief, whatever you have. And put it over your shoulder. This uh, this is really to protect your clothing from rosin that's on your bow. And uh, just remember, don't use this same cloth to clean your violin at the end of your practices because this will be filled with rosin. So, like a genie, go ahead and with your uh, left hand, hold your right hand down, right arm down, and place your bow on your shoulder, like so. Now, right here, I'm in. Um, I'll say I'm in E string position. So, with every string position. I want to practice a few strokes and uh, keep it and keep each stroke as straight as possible. So here we go. Here's the E string and we're gonna go ahead and stroke. That's one. Two. Three. Now we're going to go up to the A string, keep it straight, and relax your shoulder. Always remember to keep it relaxed. Now the D string. Two. Three. G. Can see. One. Two. Three. Okay. So, that was Genie, and with with your left hand, just make sure your arm doesn't. Uh, rotate around. It, it, the movement should be from your elbow to the wrist and to the hand. Um, it's very helpful to do this exercise in front of a mirror. It helps you keep uh, in mind to, to do that straight bow. Um, otherwise, use your arm as a guide to keep the bow straight and parallel to your arm. So, that was Jeannie. Now, for drill number six, it's called the rocking bow. You will need your violin, so go ahead and uh, grab your violin and place it on your shoulder. And you will not create any tones. Uh, all you, you're going to do is place your bow on your violin and rock it from the E to the G string. I'm going to practice um, rocking bow on three sections the bottom, the center, and the top. And at each section your arm creates a certain shape. For example, for the top, the actually the bottom section of the bow, you need to uh, observe that your arm creates kind of like a, a V, a V or a triangle shape. You see that? It's like a V or a triangle. And when you do that properly, when you place the bow onto the violin, it should be right at the bottom. And also, using a mirror is really helpful. But um, try to place the violin right in the center, in between the fingerboard and the bridge. So here we go. Create that V with your arm. Place your bow onto the E string in the center. Here we go. 
don't make a sound. All you need to hear is little taps, but no squeaking, streak, squeaking or or any type of like bad sounds should come out of this. Okay, so that was at the bottom of the bow. Now let's do the center of the bow. Center of the bow, your arm should create a right angle or a s imaginary square, like like so, like that. So um, go ahead and create that right angle with your arm and place the violin, I mean the, the bow right onto the E string and that should be at the center of the bow. And here we go, rock it back and forth. Always check that your bow hold is correct. Okay, so that's the middle, that was on the center. Now we're going to do it the same thing, but at the top of the bow. And for that, create another V or another triangle with your arm, but this time from the wrist, um, the, the elbow should be almost straight. So go ahead and place it at the very um, top of the bow and go ahead and rock it back and forth without making a sound. This one's a little more challenging because when you rock you need to keep in mind not to push There you go. So that's the idea of rocking bow and it's supposed to uh, remind you of the proper um, um, positions for each string and it should help your hand relax. And so that brings us to our last drill, drill number seven. And it, uh, this drill is called visual straight bow and it, it's exactly what the title um, describes. Uh, you're going to visually observe that your bow uh, stays straight while playing each string. And for each bow stroke, you have to take it as slow and as steady as possible, keeping it right in the center between the bridge and the fingerboard. So here we go. I'm going to start on the A string. And again, observe that your arm goes from a triangle or V to a square, back down to a triangle, back up to a square, and back up to another triangle. And it's going to be small triangle, square, long triangle. So try to keep that in mind and that will help um, create that straight bow stroke every time. And that's what I do as a trick. So. Um, here we go. I'm going, I'm going to start on the A. This is best done in front of the mirror, but I am going to use um, direct visual um, technique to keep that bow right in the center. So here we go. A string. Just going to make sure that I have the proper bow hold. Relax, relax the fingers. Okay, here we go. A string.
Okay, so that was visual straight bow. Now, keep in mind, the slower you go, the more steady you go, the better practice, the better the drill. So try to keep it very slow and steady. I'm working my way up to um, having, uh, trying to do one stroke per 30 seconds. It's probably not possible, um, but I'm trying. So um, that was visual bow stroke. So those were the seven drills that I implement into my everyday practice and I'm hoping that with time it will help me create a better tone on my violin and uh, improve my bows, my bowing technique and I hope that it does the same for you. Thank you very much for watching. This was Lady and the Violin and remember when you're self-teaching yourself, when you're self-teaching violin, uh, keep two things in mind, um, patience and persistence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.